One of the things I find really interesting about our visual IVR implementations is what it's meant to the companies and their investments in their knowledge management systems. So if you think about SharePoint, Kana, Oracle, and the millions of dollars companies have spent to um, gather and maintain their uh, frequently asked questions, their videos, their digital content, uh, even their content management systems. Um, obviously it's necessary to get that information in one place that can then be surfaced uh, to a call center agent, uh, to a customer. Uh, but surfacing that information at the right time uh, and, and surfacing the bright information is not an easy thing to do. What Visual IVR does is takes an antiquated channel for customer self-service, being the voice channel through calling into an IVR system, and seamlessly pivots that customer to an immersive digital experience on their smartphone. Well, now I've got a platform for surfacing that rich content for my, for my knowledge management systems to the customer to provide a better experience and to enhance my ability for that customer to self-serve. So as the customer is being guided through a flow within the visual IVR interaction, I now have an understanding of their intent, the information they're trying to, uh, to retrieve, and I can tap that rich content in the knowledge management system and surface it through the smart device or through the smartphone, whether it be a video or an article or a picture. Um, it, it really addresses that whole issue of don't make me think. Uh, as a customer, I want to be guided to my answer in the most efficient uh, manner possible. And an immersive experience on a smartphone driven by the rich content that's in your knowledge management systems is an ideal combination to provide that level of customer experience.